Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Quixel and welcome to the channel. Today we are doing a video on how to install Breachers. This will be a full guide including how to enable developer mode, install side quest, and get the game onto your headset. All three of these steps will be broken up into chapters and so you should be able to sort through the chapters. If I'm too dumb to set that up, here's the timestamps for everything on screen. And if this video helps you at any point, make sure to leave a like and if you're stuck, leave a comment. I'll make sure to respond to you. Once you go to the developer website, this will be linked top link in the description just for you guys. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into your meta account right here. Basically, once you do that, you're going to go to my apps right at the top. Now that you guys are finally onto this page, the first thing you're going to do is hit your settings button. You're going to want to go to the verification tab and you're going to want to add a credit card. You can also do this. I believe with the phone number but it doesn't pop up here maybe they've already changed that now remember if you do this it will not take money off your card it's just verifying that you're not just making a bunch of verified unverified like bot accounts basically now once you're done with that step we're gonna go over to select an organization create you're gonna want to type in your name for your organization it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's not taken and then you're gonna hit I understand submit you're going to scroll down or whatever. You don't really have to read it. Agree and submit. I already made an organization. So once you submit it, it should pop up here. And then you should be done with these steps. Now, this next step will require you to get onto your mobile phone. But what you do basically is you're going to hit menu. You're going to pop up your dashboard. You're going to go to your devices. Once you get into your devices page, you're going to scroll down. And you're going to want to hit developer mode, which should pop up once you have already done these steps once you hit developer mode it's not saying it for me because my headset's not on but once your headset's on next to your app and you're connected to it you'll hit developer mode and it'll pop up a screen with a little tick box and you'll just tick that on now that you've made your oculus developer account and then you have got it turned on for your headset that step is completely done and we can go on to step two all right guys now that we're done with step one step two is installing side quest to your computer now for this what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to this website right here second link in description i got you guys you're going to want to go down and when you see the two installs there's going to be a easy installer and an advanced installer i know you're going to want to naturally click the easy one but you're actually going to want to get the advanced one all right guys now that you guys are in the side quest app after that quick setup all you're going to want to do is turn on your oculus quest device and plug it into your computer once it's plugged in you'll see that little pop-up right there i will show you that your quest 2 is plugged in and it's percentage and that means you are done with this step until we get the file downloaded so next we're going to go over to the official discord server which will be on the screen right now once we're on the discord server we're going to go into the join the alpha section of the discord server and click on this github link once you're on to this you can actually just go ahead and click install using a pc there are other options if you are using your android phone which i'm not showing you how to do today and you can do it inside your quest headset but you also already have to have a file explorer installed which i'm pretty sure you need a pc to do in the first place so hit install using a pc once you get here you should be able to just go down basically this will teach you everything you need to know but what you really need to do is go to these releases right here that it says once you go down it will be like the third section it will say downloading the zip right here's the important part it says go to the breaches releases you'll go here it will take you to this page right here actually once you click on that and it'll say spectator alpha one you want to walk around that that's for like um competitive leagues basically using spectators so right here's the what you want to go for quest two alpha one when you go into here there's going to be a bunch of stuff but all you want to do is hit this zip file right here you're going to click on it and all it's going to do is just start installing it now I already have this installed, but once you get this onto your desktop, desktop, the file is going to look just like this. If you don't have WinRAR, it will actually just look like a zipped file, but that's what I have. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to unzip the file and what should happen is it should pop out this little file. That's the unzipped version of it. So we're going to close out of that and we're going to go back to our side quest client. All right, guys, now that we are on the actual side quest client again, you'll see if your quest is still plugged in and working, going good to go you can carry on over to this little button it will be like a box with a downwards arrow on it you're gonna want to click on it and it's gonna open up your files now you're gonna want to go to wherever you save that alpha file mine happens to be on my desktop so we'll go there and where you'll see it you'll double click this file and it will start installing it just for you once it installs it will start installing over here onto this three oh no it'll start installing over here 
it will be this little three dashes with a check mark and it'll tell you the progress of your install it shouldn't really take long but once it's done that's all you have to do now what you can do is you can safely unplug your headset now that the file is 100% installed once it is you unplug your headset it will disconnect well, I like to restart my headset just in case every once in a while but once you do that we can go inside the headset and this is how you get into the game as you can see with our oculus menu open in the drop down up here in the app section there's actually an unknown sources tab at the very very bottom of this drop down menu you want to click on that and breacher should pop up for you all you do is click on it it will ask you to accept a little pop-up once you go in just basically asking to use your microphone and you accept it you get into the game and you can go through your lobby sections right here if you want me to make a beginner's guide to the actual game i will go ahead and do that if this gets enough support uh, i don't really ask you guys to subscribe or, like i don't want to have to ask you guys to subscribe on this video because this is like a one-off video i don't make these often but if you think you like videos like josh dub or the boys make funny vr gameplay videos go ahead and check out this video on screen right here i wonder what would happen if i like it's the circle of life oh i completely missed it's the circle of life oh still didn't quite get him but this time with a punch oh my god Oh, oh, let's just, let's just uh, pretend like that didn't happen. That was hilarious. And if you click on it and you watch it and you enjoy it, then go ahead and subscribe. Show me some support. I really would love that. Even if you just check it out and you don't like it, thank you for even checking. Hope everyone has a good day. And remember, if you do have some concerns, leave it down below in the comments and I would love to help you. See you guys in the next video. Peace.